I think one of the exciting things about making a painting is creating the illusion of depth. And one of the ways that I do that is to think about things in, as planes. So for example, I've got a plane here with this water receding off into the distance. I've got another plane here of the face of the wave coming towards me and how I've reflected the light um, shows how those planes kind of work. But here, for example, I've got this big band of whitewash breaking up the picture. And what I wanted to do was put the shadow of the seagull, and of course it's not finished. But I wanted to run the shadow of the seagull across this plane and then tilt it up slightly as it gets onto this plane. So it does a couple of things. It creates some depth and dimension here, but it breaks up this lovely big blob of whitewash through the middle. So when you're making a painting, have a good look at the planes, you know, things like the sand or you know, a paddock receding off into the distance, or even the sky, there'd be a plane up in there, layers of clouds and things. But look for the planes and work out how you can most efficiently lay them flat or make them vertical, and your painting will start being really interesting. So thinking about planes, I've got this bird here, and at the moment I've just sort of, oh, sorry, the shadow of the bird, and I've just kind of blocked him in. But one of the things that I will do at some point to lay him flat or to lay that shadow flat is to reflect this whitewash in the sky on the wet sand. And what that will do is push that part flat and then accentuate the fact that that's vertical. But all those flat surfaces are gonna have lots and lots of lovely, lovely reflections. Tough to do, look a million bucks when you get it right though. Mm -hmm.